today we are going to discuss about the superposition theorem here the below one shows the circuit diagram for verification of superposition theorem okay now in the case of superposition theorem total response is equal to the sum of the individual responses whenever the sources are acting alone if you observe here only one source is acting remaining source is deactivated by short circuit okay v1 is activated whereas here vt is activated and v1 is short circuited now sum of these two responses that means i1 plus i2 is equal to this i in this case two sources are acting i is equal to i1 plus i2 we need to verify okay for that first i am giving this connection that means when two sources are acting okay now i am going to carry the 1 kilo ohm resistance anywhere on the breadboard now thereafter take one more 1 kilo ohm resistance connect this one to the second end of this 1 kilo ohm resistance now here this is my second end vertically on the same place thereafter second end anywhere on the breadboard now take this 2.2 kilo ohm resistance now here the first end of this 2.2 kilo ohm resistance is connected to this a point now where is this a point second end of r1 first end of r2 where is this point here this is the point okay now here this point we need to connect the 2 point okay at this point connect the 2.2 kilo ohm resistance and thereafter the second end of this 2.2 anywhere on the breadboard again okay now this is the connection for feed resistors now see here ammeter positive is connected to the 2.2 second end now this is my 2.2 second end connect the ammeter positive okay now thereafter connect this ammeter negative now here this is my ammeter negative now connect ammeter negative to the ground now here this is ground okay now see here. rps negative that means v2 channel v2 as well as rps negative channel v1 connected to ground now this is my channel 1 and channel 2 now connect this negative as well as this negative channel 1 negative channel 2 negative both connected to ground here horizontally on the same place these two nodes are completed now next we need to connect this positive to the r1 first end this positive to the r2 first end now where is r1 positive see here this is my r1 first end connect here positive terminal r1 first end okay now this positive terminal this positive terminal here v2 second end see here v2 positive is connected to r2 second end now this is my v2 positive connected to r2 second end Okay, now this is the connection for your uh, superposition theorem. All the connections are completed. Now we need to measure the current by applying the voltage. Now for the demo purpose, I am applying V1 is equal to 5 and Vt is equal to 10. V1 is equal to 5 and Vt is equal to 10. Now here I am applying. For that I am applying, I am switching on this apply. <coughs> now I am going to apply the 5 volts in channel 1, 10 volts in the channel 2. Now here I am applying the 5 volts. Channel 1, 5 volts is applied. Now press this one to channel 2. Now vary this side. Okay. Now apply 10 volts here. Now 5, 10, see here, channel 1, 5 volts, channel 2, 10 volts. Now we got the current as 2.7 milliamps, okay. Now theoretically also we got the same result. If you observe this circuit diagram, theoretically also we got 2.77. Here also we are getting 2.77 approximately, okay. Now when the two sources are acting, okay. Now I am going to give this connection. I am going to give this connection, first connection, okay. For this V2 must be short, all are same connections, there is no change in remaining all the connections, just we need to remove this V2. Now here I am removing the V2, before that I am going to switch off the supply. Now I am removing this V2, hmm. remaining all the connections are same, there is no change in remaining connections, why because all are same connections, only here we need to take a void and we need to connect from R2 to the ground. I am going to take a while. I am going to connect from R2 second end to the ground. Okay. 
nose here. Here, this is my R2 second end. Connect from here, one one to the ground. Okay. Now, again, switch on the supply. Now apply the voltage to the five volts. Apply this voltage to the five volts. Now here the voltage is applied five volts. We got point nine. So here critical also we got the value as point nine two five here. Current value is point nine two five. Okay. Practical also we are getting 0.93 or 92. Okay, I applied 5 volts. Why? Because here V1 voltage is 5 volts. V2 is short circuited. Next time I am going to give this connection. Okay. Now V2 must be connected. V1 must be removed from the circuit. That means from here to here we need to connect a wire. Okay. For that I am going to switch off the supply again. I am removing this V1 connection as well as V2 connection also. This is V2 and ammeter connection is same place. There is no change in ammeter place. If you observe here, there is no change in ammeter place. So that's why I kept ammeter place as same. Okay. Now see here, take a wire and connect from R1 to ground. Now where is R1 first chain? This is my R1 first chain. Okay. From here, take a wire and short circuit from here to here to ground. Now here, this V1 side is short circuit. Now next we need to give the V2 connection. That means V2 positive is connected to the R2 second end. Now where is R2 second end? This is my R2 second end. Okay. Now take RPS positive to here and negative to ground. Why? Because here negative is connected to ground. In the circuit negative is connected to ground. Now see here, negative is connected to ground. Horizontally on the same place. Okay. Now again I am going to switch on the supply for verification of result. Now apply this V2 channel is called 10 volts. Now this is my channel 2. Why? Because this is RPC is connected. Now apply 10 volts. Apply the voltage as 10 volts. Now voltage 10 volts is applied. Now we got the value as 1.79 or 1.8. Okay. Now uh, critical also we got 1.85 approximately. Okay. Now here we got 1.8. So previously we got 0.9, here we got 1.8. So both together it is 0.8 plus 1.8. That is 0.9 plus 1.8 is 2.7. Now here V1 plus VT is, sorry, I1 plus IT is equal to I, hence it is verified. Superposition theorem is verified. Thank you.